Here's our Cooper Hawk looking down over here. She just got up off the eggs and been preening a little bit. And we'll watch for a little bit and see if the male comes in to relieve her. Haven't heard any calls. He usually gives a little big, big call and then sails in, takes over on the eggs and gives her a break. So We'll watch her preen. Got her head turned around here. She's looking good. I got a pretty good view of the nest. The wind's blowing a couple of leaves around, but still it's not obstructing us too much. We get to see her eye and her beak and everything. There you go. She's kind of ducking down. She saw something. See what's going on here. I just saw the crow fly by. They have uh, <laughs> airspace. They got the rules, the ground rules down, so they know pretty much where they can go. And, which tree you can't land in, so. They got their pecking order and their airspace rules all figured out here. All right, let's watch her here. Now, she's been up a while. Remember, she's got to maintain them at uh, about 99 degrees. See if she's gonna get back on them. Here go you go, turn around. All right, there you go. She's getting all settled down in there, see? That's the banishing act. Yep, she got up for a little bit and did her feathers and uh, getting all settled back down in the nest here. There's a tip of the tail between the limbs on the left hand side, so that's about all you're going to see when the Cooper Hawk wants to get back on the eggs. Now, before she was laying the other direction, we could see her tail sticking up, so. Well, we'll call that good. Romeo didn't come in to relieve her, so. We'll catch that next time. That's what's going on at the Neely Homestead Cooper Hawk Nest right along the Green River in Kent, Washington. All right.